the sanctuary here is basically one aspect of what we do. Um, the, the center basically piggybacks as firstly a rehabilitation center, secondly as a holding facility for non-releasable vultures as well as some other large birds of prey, also as an educational center which we bring people in to try and educate them to understand and appreciate vulture species and as well as a research center where we, if we need to undertake specific research we put the birds in a hospital camps and we do the very specific research on them. There's all human induced threats and then just in a nutshell you're looking at power line electrocutions and collisions, the irresponsible use of poisons, um, drowning in farm reservoirs, huge lack of, a fo of food for the birds and safe food be it that, um, lack of understanding, lack of appreciation and disturbance at breeding sites, at feeding sites as well for the birds. Okay, if we look at the Cape Vulture in particular, we have under 10,000 individuals, about 3,500 breeding pairs left globally. Cape Vultures are only found in Southern Africa only found in two countries left in South, Southern Africa, be it South Africa and Botswana, with the latest um, and most recent extinction as a breeding species in Namibia. And what, what's happened with the threats is, you know, if one looks at, for example, the mass of rhino poaching and elephant poaching at the moment, all you need is for one poisoned rhino or one poisoned elephant and you wipe out 600 vultures. However, during breeding season, it's not only the 600 vultures that consume that carcass, it's potentially their chicks as well. So you're looking at 1,200 birds at one poisoning incident. And there's no way the species can sustain those declines. Um, so, you know, what is happening is going to have a catastrophic um, major impact in our, in our environment. I would say at least in the next 20 years, we, we could be we could have halved our population. Vultures are, um, they're there to prevent the spread of diseases. If you look at the Asian vulture crisis, 99.9% uh, .9 of the vulture species declined in Asia. It became a human health issue because their rotten carcasses were, were, you know, still lying in feeding sites, no vultures to consume them. There were feral dogs, feral dogs carry rabies. Kids were playing in those dumping sites and getting bitten by dogs, by, by these feral dogs, um, epidemic of blowflies. So it does actually become a human health issue to us as well, as well as our livestock, as well as our wildlife as well. So potentially, you know, we, we might not feel it today, but lose our birds, we'll feel it in a year's time after that to come.